Hey, this is Danny Jones, <clears throat> and uh, this uh, is a little video. Uh, it's going to be uh, part one of a series, uh, and this is going to the uh, folks in the uh, Telescope SA forum. Um, I really just wanted to uh, document um, how I've been uh, making uh, my blinks uh, lately, and uh, I've got a pretty good stockpile of uh, three-quarter inch uh, plate glass um, and what I've been doing um, various sizes like this one's a 15 inch piece and it's one layer it's thir it's uh, three-quarter inches thick and I've you know out of that stock pile I'll take two of those and I will fuse them together in my glass oven and they become they fuse super well become super annealed um, they look really good under a stress test there's you know if there's any bubbles it's usually just you know you could count them on you know one hand it probably you know like this last one I did it might have three bubbles in it but um, that's okay because the whatever bubbles are in it are at least three quarters of an inch down from the from the surface that you're grinding so um, this is a piece of my glass dock. It came in a big, giant, huge uh, sheet of glass, um, three quarters thick. And uh, what I did was I uh, cut a bunch of uh, circles out of it. I cut as many as the biggest ones as I could fit in my oven. Um, this is this is one of them. So I got a big stack of these uh, 15 inch circles here. And uh, I cut that out uh, you'll see you see an angle you see an angle grinder um, right there mounted to this little contraption that I put together now when I cut the cut the glass out of the sheet um, there's a little tiny mark right here. I put just a little divot with a glass drill bit, just enough to hold my uh, circle making um, jig that I put on there. And then I outline it in a marker. And then uh, I get a rough cut around here, put it on the turntable. And then I use the same setup here, except here I have a uh, uh, turbo diamond turbo uh, diamond blade this one is uh, a turbo blade I have a segmented one for a really faster cutting and then I have a continuous rim one um, for smoother cutting but there's some uh, little tiny segments in there you can't hardly see them because it's been used so much but it would go on the angle grinder and it would go like that the turntable would go around I would lower the the grinder down through there and I would get a pretty good circle until it gets down so far and then the thick chunks start just kind of fracturing off right there so it's really rough super rough so what I need to do now is I need to round take all that jagged stuff off I need to get that smooth up and get it to pretty much the diameter I want. If it's a couple of millimeters bigger, um, that's okay. Um, so I've got this uh, little contraption here. It's a post that goes down on the table. Um, it's a couple of two by fours here, and I've got a clamp. Um, I drilled a hole through the two two by fours, and I've got a clamp down here. I can tighten the clamp up to hold that hold this into position. Um, there's a big door hinge right here, and then uh, the angle grinder is held on with uh, a couple pieces of wire and a band clamp to hold it really sturdy to that. And uh, down here is a grinding drum. It's diamond brazed. Um, I think they make it for some sort of, uh, it goes on some sort of unit where water squirts down into them, squirts out to the, there's some little various holes there to keep your wet keep your work wet while you're working because obviously glass dust we don't we don't deal with that we keep everything wet so we keep the dust down but that spins at a really this it happens to this drum just happens to uh, um, chuck right up to an angle grinder and tighten it down 
and uh, the turntable will spin. I'll turn the grinder on, and I can I can move that little contraption in or away from the mirror. I can uh, lower it up and down however I need to. So I uh, move it in until it starts grinding on the glass, and then at, as it uh, makes its revolutions and and, and, and everything gets grinded off there, moving it in a little more, and a little more, and a little more. And uh, I'll keep a monitor on the diameter of that, and uh, I'll end up with a, with, a, with a diameter that I want. And sometimes it's a millimeter or two, a little larger, that's okay. Because after I get done fusing the two pieces together, I put it back on here and shave a little bit more off to smooth everything back up. And then I've got some other pieces of equipment that I use to make the edges really, really fine. But uh, you'll notice I've got plastic up here, plastic in the back, and uh, when this thing's going, I'll be squirting it with water the whole time, and uh, it will, that glass dust is wet, and it'll just build up like you've never seen before. It'll just be piles of that white powdery glass that's all wet back there. And of course, I'll be wearing a face mask while I'm doing it and some uh, eye protection too. Um, and then I'm in a ventilated area and I've got a fan in the window going to help minimize the dust. But I'll uh, <clears throat> run the grinder with the, with, the, with the diamond drum on it. I'll uh, scoot it closer and closer and closer. As it grinds off and grinds off, I'll end up with a perfect circle, the diameter that I want. And I've got two of these to do two of these to do because I'm going to fuse two of them together. So in the next video, I'll uh, um, show you how I, how, I, how I clean them up and then uh, how I uh, get them in the mold that I'm going to be using in the glass oven because it's got to have a mold, it's got to be able to keep its shape. Um, we get in the glass oven, that glass gets really hot, it gets pliable and we need to be able to hold that shape. So this is uh, part one of the series that's how I make each individual piece round and I uh, do it again a little bit more after they've been fused together so uh, stay on the lookout for part two this is gonna take three or four days I'll probably have four or five six videos I'm guessing something like that and uh, I'll name them part one part two part two and accordingly so thanks for watching